Good night, guys. ¿Qué tal? How are you today? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Cómo se encuentran, chicos? ¿Cómo ha estado su día? ¿Me escuchan bien? ¿Hay problemas con, con el audio aún? Hello, good evening. Oh, yes. Can hear you. We can hear you well. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I feel a little bit better today. Uh, I can feel a little bit better today, and, but just right now. In the morning, in the afternoon, it was so awful, but I am here. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for being on time again. I will share uh, right now what will be the, the topic for today or what is the agenda. And the agenda for today, guys, it will be finally the section one. I will need, or I guess you fi finish the, the exercise. If you didn't finish, right now is the time. Esa After that, that we are about, okay. Uh, about the section two, winter intro video. And the intro video, please pay attention because there you will find all the aims that we will learn about during these uh, sections. After that, uh, we will be able to use by, because of, because of, due to, pro, and as result of. Eso lo vamos a aprender in order to describe cows, causes. We will watch a video, may a knowledge check. <coughs> After that, we will learn about how to reduce the modal verbs at the moment that we are talking. Um, for example, uh, Morena is pay attention. Morena is pay attention. That is one way that you can short or reduce an auxiliary verb at the moment that you, that you are speaking. After that, we watch a bit, little video and we will finalize, I guess, uh, with a listen exercise at 8.45 because the last 15 minutes we will practice our reading skills with El Principito. Well, guys, it's A03. It's time to start. And we will start right now, as I mentioned, <clears throat> with the final part of this uh, with the final part I will ask him to you because I already finalized to answer okay okay I won't I won't share that section right now because uh, you will be able to see the answer but I will ask him to you what is the answer for the first one? The participant of the show get assistance from experts. True, false, or not given. Mm -hmm, guys. It's about this part. It was true. Okay, the first one is true. Yes. Okay. It's true. Thank you. What about the second one? The project sometimes takes months to complete. It's false. Thank you. And the third one, many participants re redecorate their home after the show. Mm -hmm, Morena? Not given. Not given. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. It's not given. Okay. And number four, people who appear on the show are actors. Two, false, or not given. It's false. Thank you. Number five, a reality show, Aaron, and it was entirely honest, true, false, or not even. It's true. Thank you. And the last one, the, the pits are no longer friends with their neighbors. Not given. Not given for you. What about the rest? Not given. Thank you. And let me show the answers. Yes, you are right. 
you got 10 of 10. Okay. So we will continue. Okay. Right now, I will show the audio. And I will play the video. Please, again, pay attention. I know the video will show you uh, maybe some natural disasters. And if you are so empathetic, uh, we understand. It shows you some. some the studio. David, thank you very much, David. And pay attention. Hi, welcome again. We recommend for you to watch the following video and pay attention to it because you will listen to all the topics we will study in this section. Remember, you may watch the video as many times as you need to. Sit back and relax. One of the most remote nations on earth threatened by rising water levels has today experienced the damaging impact of what's known as a king tide. Tuvalu is a small group of islands 10,000 miles and 11 time zones away in the South Pacific. Islanders fear that the area could disappear within 50 years if action isn't taken over climate change. Well, our environment correspondent, David Shukman, has travelled to the islands and we can join David there now. Hugh, thank you. It's a stormy time here in the heat of the South Pacific, just the combination of high tides and strong winds that people dread because Tuvalu is so low in the water it really does run the risk of becoming the first country to fall victim to the way our climate is now changing. Incredibly beautiful but incredibly vulnerable. The fragile strips of green that make up this country only just break the surface of the ocean. But for how much longer? The mighty waves of the Pacific pound the shoreline during what's called a king tide, the highest tides of the year, and the effects can be devastating. This is the island's main road. I mean, we've never seen this in the past, uh, water coming all the way up to this far, and our house is just up behind us. But the water also surges up from underground through the coral the islands are built on. In the space of an hour, the lowest areas are all flooded. Everyone feels the impact. This priest steps carefully through the waters on his way to conduct a funeral. The higher the king tides get, the harder it is to keep things going here. So can you grow anything here? No. Because it's too salty? Yeah, too salty. Okay. The seawater is poisoning the soil and people are nervous. It makes me feel scary. So what will happen to us in 10 years time? This isn't like other floods that I've covered with a single catastrophic event. Instead, it's a creeping process with this seawater flowing up into the heart of these islands and slowly, but effectively, killing them off. The water bubbles up in tiny streams and everywhere you look, it just lies on the surface. And the problem is getting worse. At the harbour, the rising swell is monitored by an Australian system. The measurements go back 15 years. And at the local Met office, they say the king tides are getting higher, a trend forecast to continue. In prediction, the next five to 10 years, the king tide getting worse and it getting higher than normal, then most of the coastal areas would be washed out. The implications are alarming. A typical high tide reaches about two and a half metres. A king tide like now can be more than three. The UN climate panel forecasts a rise of another half metre when the highest point is only about four and a half metres. Now for Tuvalu, each scenario would cost precious land. Only a small rise would see parts of the island go under, perhaps even the runway, a lifeline to the outside world. How long have you got? Not more than 50 years. In fact, some of the islands have already disappeared. Please help us. You cause climate change. You know, the pool of the pays principle must apply. You must give, set up a global fund to which these islands can come and tap into to build their resilience, to build their capacity, the education, technology, and all that, and restore what the damage has been done. 
People here say there must be a technological fix if a rich country like Dubai can build entirely new islands, especially since these are so narrow, you can cross from one side to the other in a few short paces. The problem, they're founded on coral, which is porous. Saving these islands will cost a fortune. For the children of Tuvalu, the floods are fun. But for them to lead their lives on these islands will require massive international support. And with just 11,000 people here, will the outside world think it's worth it? Now, of course, Tuvalu does get some aid, but not nearly enough to keep the rising sea at bay. So the international community faces very soon a difficult choice of whether to draw a line between those who get saved and those who don't. And in the meantime, people here are getting ready for another king tide. It's right now it's low. It's due to get very high in about eight hours' time. Back to you in the studio. David, thank you very much. David Chukman there, our environment correspondent uh, in Tuvalu. OK, guys, what do you think about the video? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are many new words in the way that they speak is so difficult to me for understand. <laughs> you, Randy, what about you, Jamie? Yes, yeah, it's the same, the accent that they, that they speak is a little bit different than American accent. Yes. Um, yeah. Yes. Maybe because they... But the idea they were talking about one island that is on the surface of Pacific. Mm -hmm. And they say that it's getting worse. And they think in five or ten years later, uh, they will have uh, more damage because... Um, they have a uh, problem with the um, the coral. They say the 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 problem they 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 had to uh take care of the coral for save uh, the island. Yes, thank oh, well, you, Brandy. It's okay. Today. You did a great job. It's about a uh so Pacific Island that it was suffering many uh, king tiles. The king tile is like a big way, it's a, like a monster way that cover parts of the island. With the time that island will disappear, unfortunately. And I know uh, the accent is so weird. Don't worry, it's okay. It's because they are Australian, they have a different accent than us. It's the same with Canadian. Uh, they have also a different accent with all that uh, American English. But please uh, let you let you know that in, <clears throat> in a future when you manage a full percent your English, you will be able to uh, to meet the kind of people and start to speaking with them. Uh, please be prepared for that time. Okay, guys, uh, right now we will continue with the class and it's time to show what will be our first aim. I need a volunteer to read this. Can you help me, Julio? Yes. Yep. Can you help me reading the instructions, please? Okay. By the, the, the end, this class, you will be able to describe cause with by because of doubt, doubt to a trough and e as a result of you will do so by using present, present and the present perfect process. Thank you, Julio. Just a question. Are you using a cell phone to watch the class? Yes, teacher. Okay, don't worry, it's okay. Uh, if you're using a cell phone and I ask into you to reading, please let me know because I can use the Zoom in order to help you to read better. <laughs> Yes, this is a little. 
difficult to see that you're right. Okay, Julio. Just let me ask to you this. How do I pronounce this? Doubt? Doubt? Doubt is when you have like a question. In Spanish, it could be duda. If you doubt, if you doubt. want to say doubt, it's duda. That's the meaning. Okay, this is do. Do to. Do to. Mm -hmm. What it's, the meaning is? I don't know. A. Debido a, do to. Do to. Okay, try okay. It to think in English. I know it's very, very hard, but try to don't translate it. Okay, and let me help you with this, uh, Julio. Julio, did you uh, did you choose two numbers yesterday? Do you think about the numbers? Pensó y cogió los números que le comenté en la clase de hace dos días. No. No se preocupe, Julio. Muy bien. Esos números son para una practicar el reading. The reading is very important because they give the fluence. Okay. Le voy a dar un tip para que usted mejore su, su reading. Intente leerlo despacio. Okay. My grandma says, we have more time than life. Tenemos más tiempo que vivir. Tardemos en leyendo. No importa por el momento. Luego okay. con el tiempo usted, el señor Julio, va a ser un experto en leer. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, well, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay, right now, it's time to ask him to you. How do you ever, guy, have been used this? Estas expresiones alguna vez las han ocupado? If I use in that expression, mm -hmm. yes, some of cases. Which ones? Which of because those? Because mm -hmm. due to through. Mm -hmm. What else? By because of. Mm -hmm. By the way. Mm -hmm. And as a result of, creo que esta es la que menos ocupamos. Mm -hmm. No. And as a result, um, as a result of that's uh, that's mean. Mm. The meaning of that is when you do something and it's caused something different. For example, uh, I went to the supermarket uh, today in the afternoon and and as a result of, I don't have more money. <laughs> Maybe in Spanish could be as el resultado de. Mm -hmm. I got it. Yes, thank you so much, Yulisa. Uh, I appreciate so much your help, but remember that you to use less Spanish, more English. Because you are doing great, guys. You are doing great. I love listening to you speaking English. Okay. Right now, we'll watch another video. It's a little bit long, but it will help to you how to use that kind of expression in order to express uh, <clears throat> cause, causes. Okay, this is another word that I would like to share, causes. Just a second. This pronoun as causes because is fluid. Okay, it's time to the video. We will watch the video and after that, we will do some practices. Understand how to describe causes using by, because of, due to, as a result of, and through. Hi, after you listen to the audio program and watch the video with the explanation, we are sure you will understand how to describe causes using by, because of, due to, as a result of and through. Stay with us. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. C. 
city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Present perfect passive. The roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. Before we go deep into the topic of passive with prepositions, I will divide the topic in two parts to make it easier for you to understand. Number one, present continuous passive. Number two, present perfect passive. I will begin now with number one. Let me show you how to form the present continuous passive. Subject plus is or are being plus past participle. What does the present continuous passive do? It describes an action that is in progress right now. For example, we may say, too many trees are being cut down right now, these days, or water is being contaminated. Ready for number two? Present perfect passive. This is how to form this tense. Subject plus has or have, been plus past participle. We use present perfect passive to describe something that started before the present. The exact time isn't important. For example, too many trees have been cut down recently or in the last years. In either case, we will add a preposition right after the past participle. We may add by, because of, as a result of, due to, through. Let's then add a preposition to our last example. Too many trees have been cut down because of overbuilding. Note, these prepositions have similar meaning. Remember we have studied passive voice before? So let's make a quick review on the active and passive sentences. Active voice. Air pollution is threatening the health of people. Air pollution is the cause. Is threatening is the verb. The health of people is the object. Number one is air pollution and health of people is number two. So what we do now is exchange one and two, the object and the cause. Then write a preposition, the health of people by air pollution. Notice we left a blank space on the verb. That's because we need to identify the original tense. In this case, it's present continuous. And write the verb in that tense. For example, is or are being. Then take the original verb, example, threatened, and make it past participle of it. We will be left out with is or are being plus threatened. We want you to do the next exercise. Rewrite the following sentences using passive plus the prepositions given. Remember, you may do them on our discussion box as well as in your notebooks. <coughs> Number one, air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. Bye. Number two, livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water because of. Number three, the burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain as a result of. The use of CFCs in products like hairspray has created a hole in the ozone layer through. Number five, the destruction of rainforest is harming rare plants and wildlife through. Number six, the growth of suburbs has eaten up huge amounts of farmland due to. Okay, guys, <clears throat> what do you think about the video? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué opina? Very interesting. New word to describe or say something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You only, go ahead. only we have to we have to prove every moment because mm -hmm. only that we can understand very well that topic because it's very important. It's like like the essence of the conversation sometimes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, in this kind of cases, I know it's so hard, and that's it's my job. Try to make a little bit easier this kind of topic. Don't worry, uh, Morena, I will do all my hands in order to help you. And remember, please, but please, I am begging you guys, if you have doubts or questions, please let me know. Because I will do all in my hands in order to answer and help you to understand the aims. Because of that, you will be able to pass to the next level. Okay, uh, right now it's time to ask you what do you think about the structure? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the structure subject class where to be class continues mm, in no. class uh, past participle. You are all uh, right. We mix all of the time, all um, of the the, uh -huh. the time. Yeah, because um, if one if I want to say something. A large conversation, or maybe a paragraph, we have to use this um, structure that is very important. Mm -hmm. But we are not mixing all the time. This is not continue as a that because you will just will passive do. Then, if we will be, for example, a verb B plus a Continue, it will be uh, here plus bear plus ing. But it's not like that. You always use vain. Mm -hmm. And then the past participle. For example, what is the past participle of good? Good. Mm -hmm. good, good, good. Because it's a regular bear fight. In these kind of cases, too many trees are being cooling down or cut down these days. You can do these days or right now. But you are talking about an uh, incertain period of time. Right now, uh, here, you, can, you will be able to see an, uh, a clear example about the structure. What is the, the subject in this sentence, guys? Water. 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 Oh, perfect. Okay, and after water, if you if you see it, it's bang. This and contaminated past participle. Um, <clears throat> we can use after contaminated. Um, one of the expression that we saw. In the last step, like by, because of, uh, through, you can use that. Yeah, because it's like uh, they are connected. Mm -hmm. Okay, I try to give the water begin contaminated mm -hmm. because of uh, um, people throw water throw uh, um, plastic on the water or something like that. So that forgive more information. Mm, okay, yeah, that's true. For example, no. water is being contaminated by uh, oil industries. That's oh, right. Um, I have a question. Go ahead, you listen. In this case, in water is being contaminated, uh, we can use as a result of um. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You are doing great. Analyze. Uh, as a result of um, human? Mm, a bad oh, behavior or... human. We can say that. Um, say the, say the, all of the sentences, what is being contaminated? This is as a, as a result for human, something like that. It would be, what is contaminated? What is being contaminated? 
by uh, as a result. We cannot meet two. We can say by bad human behavior or as a result of a bad human behavior. So we can use both in a, in a sentence? No, just one. Just one, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. And Anyone, teacher? Anyone. Okay, uh, this is the second structure. Anyone, you can use it. Uh, after this video, if you will be able, uh, the teacher told us or give us some example to practice and we will do it later. But right now I need that you understand all, all the structure. And the previous structure was present continuous passive. And then the second one, it will be the same one, but you will use instead verb be, has or have. And then it's not more being, you have said being in past participle. You will place the verb be in past participle. And after that, a past participle again. Too many trees have been cut down. This one, it has been, it's just one modal verb. Recently or in the last year. It doesn't matter the time too. Um, uh, we can add an expression in the left as in the last one, yes. Too many tree has been cut down recently by um, industry company. Yes, by industry company or by young people. Okay, and next one. Mm, so second. Okay. Sometime that they started before the present. That's when we, we can play this a little bit before talking about the present. For example, in the last year, we are talking about the past, yes, but we are using a present continuum. That's mean that it happened in the past, but it's still happening right now. Okay. And the example, okay, it's time to see right now ah, this part. Okay, the active voice and the passive voice. The active voice, guys, who do you know what doesn't mean active voice? No, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. And passive voice? Yes, that's okay. Yeah. This is very confusion for me. Teacher, okay. the active voice is when when we put uh, the subject at first at the beginning of the sentence. Perfect, maybe. Thank you so much. And what about the passive voice? Or oh, that was the passive voice. We should use the object first mm -hmm. instead of the subject. Mm -hmm. Okay, the passive sometimes. Okay, just a second. And the passive, as she said, is the change, the position of object and subject. And here is a, a, a good example. The cause or the subject in this, in this case is air pollution. Is trading. This is the verb. Uh, this and is, is the model. Trading the verb with ing. The help of people, that's the object. Or it could be also not, uh, called as a complex. But if you want to talk in passive voice, you will place the help of people, then again the verb B, the, or the model verb and verb B. And in this time, you will use then together with the verb be. The health of people is bang. After that, you will use the verb in the active voice 
but you have to verify and try to understand what is the base the verb for la forma base del verbo and after that change to past parts and after that by air pollution yo sé que es un poquito confu confuso guys uy no estaba compartiendo muy bien yo sé que es un poco confuso guys es más que no lo estaba compartiendo pero haremos lo mejor <coughs> recordemos que cuando vamos a hablar así en passive voice siempre vamos a ocupar is being y el verbo que ocupemos tiene que ser puesto en past parts esta es parte de las estructuras si se fijan en esta sección vamos a ver tres temas que por lo regular son confusos pero no se preocupen sé que al finalizar esta sección ustedes los van a manejar a la perfección ahora it's time to practice se recuerdan que estábamos viendo si lo podíamos decir con diferentes cosas hagamos un mix necesito volunteer maybe can you help us yes can you read uh, the second one yes this one the number four number four mm -hmm. um okay the use of cfs in products like hairspray has created a hole in the ozone lawyer ahora instead to termine la oración diciendo do to do to uh, um, beauty 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 companies Due okay. to um, the production of the beauty companies. Mm -hmm. You can say that. Oh, due to that, uh, the ozone awesome layer will be damaged um, in a couple of years. Okay. And right now, Jancy, can you help me with the number one? Air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. And, and can I use, uh, use whatever that you want? Except by. Except by. Okay. And. Mm. First, what does it mean, threatening? Threatening, okay, this is a good question. Aha, uh -huh, guys, what does it mean, threatening? So, it's, uh, it's like a make damage, make damage to the health of people. Someone else? Affecting, affecting the health, threatening. What about the the other ones? What do you think? Okay, it's in simple word, amenaza. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Seria. So yeah. The the health of the people is threatening share the screen as a... okay the health of people in urban areas is threatening as a result of the air pollution Perfect. Okay, it's a good example. And um, Manina, oh, can you help us? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, can you help me with the number five? Five. The destruction of rainforest is harming rare plants and wildlife. Mm -hmm. True. Sorry. Throw. Throw. Mm -hmm. Um, in this case, uh, let me help with you. Um, imagine this. Con los años van a desaparecer esas plantas. Mm -hmm. mm, plants in Wildlife. Yes. Mm -hmm. Destruction of rainforest is harming rare plants and wildlife. True. I need to change to uh, a. No. 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 In here, okay. no. In this kind. Okay. Of, in this. Through the years. Okay. First of all, what does it mean? True. A través de. A vez. Mm -hmm. Okay. Through. It's like. Paso. Lo podés asimilar con eso. Okay, Marina. Si te fijas, dice. The destruction of rainforest is harming rare plants. Focusing rare plants and wildlife. If you want to use through, you can say through the years, those rare plants and wildlife will disappear. You can use that. Also, you can do as Jansi as, uh, do, so as Jansi did, that she changed. But we have to manage both ways. As the example here, and as a passive ball chose. Okay. Okay, guys. It's time to continue because we are in this one. At least 2.1. Okay. Uh, knowledge check. Are you ready for the knowledge check, guys? Or tienen dudas todavía? Yes, I couldn't finish this part because I didn't. Understand so well. Understand. Don't worry. What about the rest? Mm, me too, teacher. I I agree with Randy because I yes, I have. To I need to finish, but um, it's a very I good topic. It's a very good topic, but it's uh, uh, you know, it's something new that we have to change something. So uh. I feel like uh, dust. <laughs> I'm feeling that. Okay, don't worry. It's okay. I, I, teacher, I did, I did it, but uh, I have two with, with, with a mistake. Probably the system for one letter, for one capital letter. I don't know why the system don't accept my answer. Always is my problem. No se, no se, no se preocupen, chicos. Como les dije, yo estoy aquí para poderles ayudar. Ahora bien, iremos uno por uno. Estoy haciendo las... Would you like to share the screen, please? Of course, but first of all, I need to show and play something. Ok, primero fíjense en esto. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a leer una sentence como esta, como la que está arriba, y haremos la passive voice. Como dijo Maybe, it's just change the object for the cause. And in the middle, we use, we'll use this structure. Is or are, then, Plus past parts. Okay. 
if the first one said air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas, what would be the answer? It's supposed that it can be uh, the health of people in urban areas mm -hmm. um, is threatening. Mm -mm. Is bane. Is bane. Mm -hmm. Okay, by air pollution. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's the health of the of people in the urban areas is being threatened because this one will be in past parts. The health of the people in urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. Okay, <clears throat> the next one, it will be because of what will be here. I did it um, that and I blow soil and underground water mm -hmm. have been contaminated because of livestock farms. Thank you. Water has been contaminated. because of livestock farms. It's like this? Uh, have been. Have been, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, maybe in cuál se equivocó usted, o cuáles fueron las que le salieron correctas, estas dos últimas. No, the third, the third one is one of the incorrect because I, I, I wrote um, the, the acid rain, the acid rain is the object, the acid rain mm -hmm. has, has been created um, as a result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal, but mm -hmm. the system didn't accept my answer. <laughs> Vaya, primero quiero saber algo. Okay, just a second. Usted en dónde puso los las capital letters. And the, the first, only the first, the acid rain, just the, the, and the letter T. Okay. Let me help into you with that. Because the result that you told me has been already, uh, you did great. It's okay that the, that the answer. Okay, just a second. Here, uh, here. Okay. Okay, is as you say. Okay, it's here. The acid rain has been. Create a, a result of, As a result of the uh, I, 
I also omit uh, the burning of gas or only put of burning burning of gas, but either neither. <laughs> Let me try. Did you add a did you did you add a period at the end? No. Ah yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one. The use of a uh, CC in products like Hegel spray has created a hole in the ozone layer. What would be here? Uh, a hole in the ozone layer has been created through the use of CFS in products like hairspray. Uh -huh. A hole in the ozone layer is Second, a, it's been created. No, it has been. Uh, been oh, it also layer has been created. So the use of CFS in products like hairspray. Y esto también le salió incorrecta. No, this is correct. ¿Cuál le salió incorrecta aparte de la tercera? In the first one, but I I I just realized why I have incorrect, but right now it's okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Teacher, could you repeat it the four? Mm -hmm. The answer is a hole in the ozone layer has been created through the use of CS in plus layer spray. Uh -huh. Through the use of CFCs. Okay, I will show you guys. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, still the missing number three. <laughs> first one, aquí está el error. The first one is not there, just as it rains. As it rains. Okay. Let me try. Okay. The fourth one. A hole. It's okay. And the ocean layer. No layers. Layer. I place an S instead of R. Can you see? That was my mistake. Has been created through the use of CC inputs like spray. Mm -hmm. Okay, the acid rain has been created as a result of the volume of gas, oil and coal. Esta sí está rara. Voy a reportar esta porque esta sí tendría que aparecer como buena. Ok, chicos. It's almost time again. Pero creo que fue más beneficioso haber hecho esto. Vamos a ver. Que la lectura. Realmente... Estoy sorprendido, ha manejado bastante bien lo que es el Facet Voice y también el Bike at uh, Cause of, Because of, con uh, el otro, True, and 
and as a result of and due to me ha parecido excelente guys casi llegamos al a la sección que yo les había dicho que quería llegar que era la 2.5 solo tendríamos que ver un pequeño video que creo que si sí lo alcanzamos a ver sobre cómo acortar la pronunciación pero antes Quiero saber, ¿aún siguen teniendo dudas, guys, sobre cómo usar el Facet Voice? Sí, veo que sí. Es cuestión de practicarlo nada más. Muy bien, guys. Eh, voy a intentar enviarles más material. Bueno, no lo he hecho antes. Shame on me. Okay, I will send the material in order to help and to understand the aim. Right now, I will play uh, the video as I told you before finalize. It's a little bit short. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Did you notice, guys? ¿Escucharon las contracciones? No. Oh. Listen <laughs> and practice. ¿Escuchen? Fresh water's being wasted. Fresh Too much water. trash is. Fresh water's being wasted. Waters. Waters. Too much trash being created with S at the at the end. Been created. Listen again. Being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Too much trashes. Trash. Trashes. 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 Created. And the next one? It did. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Newspapers have been thrown away. Parks lost. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Parks have been lost. This is a reduction of auxiliary verbs at the moment that we speak. We will practice this one with the time but please listen this video many times to try to recognize when a person is using a contraction and right now <clears throat> because we got two minutes more let me ask him to you okay ¿qué es lo que les cuesta del passive voice? ¿qué es lo que no les ha quedado tan claro? ¿cuáles son sus dudas? Yo creo que reconocerla en qué momento vamos a usar este, ¿cómo se llama? En qué momento la vamos o en, en qué parte la vamos a, a meter el by y qué le vamos a agregar, ¿cierto? Mm. Pero como le digo, es cuestión de que veamos, bueno, en mi caso yo ver el video unas tres veces y, y hacerlo. Pero ahora pues, que le quiero práctica y no lo puedo ver. <risa> no se preocupe. Muy bien. ¿En qué momento vamos a ocupar esas expresiones, chicos, como by, because of, as a result, and pro. Muy bien, cuando nosotros las creamos convenientes. Un ejemplo. Eh, en el de by. Podemos ocupar esto. Eh, I, I can, I can talk in, I can speak English by all the effort that I, I place for todo el esfuerzo. Oh, I can speak English because I was a perseverant person. As I was. I, Mm -hmm. I can speak English as a result of 
many times that I practice the language. I can speak English. Uh, I can speak English very well through the years. I have so many scars on my knee as a result of being a biker. Mm -hmm. Okay, vos puede, es como lo mismo que hablábamos, chicos. Y muy bien, ya llegó el tiempo, pero no me voy a procurar decirlo de esta forma. En la clase pasada, en la clase anterior, se recuerdan que ustedes hicieron la misma pregunta. Hoy, ¿cuándo lo voy a decir? Y yo les dije, hay muchas formas de decir lo mismo en diferentes formas. El mínimo va a ser el mismo. Pero la forma que lo digamos va a ser diferente. Lo mismo viene con esto. En el passive voice es como que dijera lo mismo, pero en una diferente forma. Ok, guys, the time is over. Eh, los dejo. Creo que muchos de ustedes ya están cansados, tienen tareas, tienen cosas que hacer. Es la última clase de la semana. Y pues, por motivos de salud, incluso el día de ahora no he encontrado tan bien para terminar el archivo y enviárselos. Y también tenía que preparar lo de la clase. Ahora bien. Necesito de favor que terminen la sección 2. Ya quedamos casi a la mitad. Finalícenla para el día eh, lunes. Solo darle un pequeño recap, pero así al pasón. De unos 5 a 10 minutos, lo mucho, y luego seguir con la 3. Con el principio, debido que vemos sí. que estamos teniendo un inconveniente, bueno, no inconveniente, debido que estamos eh, usando todo el tiempo para poder incrementar nuestro conocimiento envíenlo por notas de voz nos vamos a divertir un rato envíenlo por notas de voz y pues eh, yo directamente a su número personal les diré que podrían ir mejorando y cuál era la pronunciación de ciertas palabras pero envíenlo al grupo por favor sus audios quiero que estén en el grupo ¿por qué? porque así todos vamos a poder ayudarnos y decir, ah yo cometo este error igual que ella, igual que él Voy a procurar no cometerlo cuando lo lea. Así es que así. Y nos vemos el día lunes. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. See ya. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you, you too. Bye. Okay. See you guys. Thank you. See you. Bye.